Oh, I see where you're going with this. Hey, Rick, why don't you hand me that cock? What? I, I mean coke. I'm sorry, kids. <laughs> Did you see that line in the movie? Yes. <laughs> yes. She talks about how big her hole is. <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid Rick. She's Sam Corbin. I'm Rick. Uh, uh, I thought I would go all out. All out. Just support SRK. Go SRK. Because <laughs> I don't why not? wear the shirt a lot. What about if you show them your SRK tattoo? Oh, you can't show them that. It's on your penis. No, it's, it's, it's actually Shah Rukh Khan. I don't know if you've heard anything I said. It's actually Shah Rukh Khan on my inner thigh right here, and he's reaching up. I think it would be better if For it was... For my nuts. I think it would be better <laughs> if it was the full name of Shah Rukh Khan. That way, when things are flaccid, it's just SRK. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a funny idea. Thank you. Anyway, today we're doing a movie review. <laughs> and we're doing a review of the 2003... Uh, Hindi film Kal Ho Na Ho Sing it just the same Never Pretty had much. one lesson Pretty much uh, Director is Nikhil Advani And it's uh, Dialogues written by uh, I can't say that uh, Naranjan Iyengar And, and it, then obviously the screenplay, the screenplay story is Karen Johar, Karen Johar. It's also produced by Karen Johar And, and Yash Johar, Johar. Uh, and it's uh, who's a composer? Uh, Shankar Mahavadan uh, is a composer and starring Shah Rukh Khan, Preeti Zinta, Saif Ali Khan, Jaya Bakchan, amongst uh, a thousand Many others. others. Yeah, but those are obviously your main cast. You've all seen this film, so obviously this will be a spoiler, spoiler. review. <laughs> um, but yeah, so obviously because we are the only two people connected to <laughs> India in any way that have not seen this movie yet until now. It's very possible. It's very plausible, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's most SRK films, I especially so. the older ones, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and you can tell me what you think. I didn't love it, but I also didn't hate it, but also it's I kind of did at times, and, you know, so it's in terms of the 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 ones of this era, Kuch Kuch Ota Ai, K3G, DDLJ, is my least favorite. I agree. For sure. And for th for those of you beautiful, stupid babies who maybe were excited for us to see it, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't like it. Yeah, there were, I'd say it's like a 60% I didn't like. For, there was about 40%, especially more towards later, that I that I did enjoy. I always like to accentuate the positive, and I, I liked seeing the songs again for sure. Yeah. Because we really liked the songs when we oh, saw yeah. the songs. They're fun songs. Um, but I... And I, I don't have much that I want to talk about because I don't want to sound like I'm just being mean. Yeah. You know what I, I mean? Oh, well, I, when I was watching, I was like, yeah, I don't know if uh, this, <laughs> if uh, Rick's going to like this one yeah, for sure. I did not. Um, and, and, you know, it, it happens. It's, it it's happens. actually one of those things that, like, there's movies that people grew up with that they just have this nostalgia for. Yep. And I obviously most SRK films, I feel, are fall in that category yeah, um, absolutely but like in in the united states there's a especially in the 90s there's a film called clueless it's like a cult classic people love that film i think it's absolute garbage i do not like that film at all but i saw it like two years ago for the first time right i did not grow up with that film yeah so it's kind of like if you watch high school musical as a kid you loved high school musical you probably have nostalgic for it. it's not a good movie <laughs> right right same thing for me like uh, there's some movies that like I may revisit with somebody and see like it's just this isn't a good example per se because Indrani liked this movie mm. but no Fast Times at Ridgemont High oh. you liked that no I do not like that but movie. yeah a, a lot of people would see that and go what is the appeal and the reason I like it is because I was there when it came out and it has a very special meaning yeah, for, for me sure. but when I go back and look at it I realize yeah they're, they're, I like it for reasons that have nothing to do with artistic no. merit or anything else. No, and uh, we weren't, uh, once again, I, this is a early SRK oh, yeah. film. We don't look for... Had no artistic no expectations. Artistic, I'm, I go in, am I going to enjoy this film? Right. And like I said, probably 60% of it, I did not enjoy that much. Uh, and a lot of it probably... Actually, I think I would have actually enjoyed it if Karen Johar directed this film. I feel I, like that's what, something it was missing. Was I a, agree. It was like a heart. 
I agree. I mean, I, I'm not saying there's not. Obviously, a lot of people say they get really emotional at the end, and that will, that's fine, right? But I'm saying, like, in those other... K3G has plenty of overacting and, right. and melodrama, and so does Kuchko... At the beginning of Kuchko Kuch Chalda is, is cringeworthy beyond all get out. Uh, but then it always gets to a place, and maybe it's the love angle that I was missing. Maybe I'm just, like, in a shower con stand now, and I'm like, I kind of just want him to get the girl, right? Yeah, no, I, I think you're right. I think it has to do with... There was, in fact, I said that to Andrani. It was all over point. the place with the directing. Yeah, it was. I said that to Andrani at one point. Not the specificity of of uh, Karan Johar directing him, but what yeah. it was missing was using the examples of all those other films that we've seen that are of yeah. the era, right? Yeah. That they had the exact same sense of being cringy, being overacted, mm -hmm. catering to emotion, and all of that. Mm -hmm. But there was a level of adorableness. Mm -hmm. A lot of that was Kajol suspended in there. You know, For she's sure. a huge contributor. But there, as well. yeah. there was also a level, especially in the second act, of heart and often surprising roundedness mm -hmm. that take, took you to a place where you're like, you know what, I, as long as I go in prepared that this is going to be ridiculous up at the front, I kind of leave with the sense of that was sugary sweet, but I kind of liked it. This yeah. one for me was just I couldn't. I couldn't. Yeah, I mean, I think the second it second all. half got better because it, it there was like just there was that kind of similar kuch kuch hota high beginning to this film where especially all the supporting cast, man, they were just oh, it was just, over the they top, were over it, the top, every all the time. It it, like, what it reminded me face. of, what it reminded me of, was a really bad high school play. Yeah, when you just watch everybody being over the top, but you kind of forgive it because you know it's not intending to be a Broadway show. Yeah, uh, and obviously we know it's the style of of the time. We've seen it many times in those films that we have referenced already, so it's not like we can't appreciate that. It's just this one did not work for us in that way. Although I will say, and it's happened multiple times now, everybody else can be overacting. You know who doesn't? Jaya Bakchan. <laughs> She's always the one that's just like everybody else can be she doing. She came, she came close she a did, few times, but she did it in K3G as well. Right, like, even Amatag Bakchan was going a little right. over the top, and she's just over there, just pulling it back. Yeah, pulling it back, and I'm like, I, I love that. I love, I, I love you. Just for like, I'm not going to do what you want me to do. I'm not going to do. This. I'm <laughs> not going to do it. The actor in her is going. <laughs> I can't. I can't. <laughs> Although, like, the first, it took like 30 minutes for like Shahrukh Khan to show up in this film, right? Right. But I loved his entrance. Oh, he's because, the angel. Yeah. He's like, they showed him, like, he was like, he's Jesus. <laughs> Jesus reincarnated. And I'm like, yes. <laughs> and I, that's a part I did enjoy. I was like, yes, give me Shahrukh Khan. It's Jesus. I love did you it. Also, did you also notice, I really appreciated this, he also can change his hair length at whim. There was a moment in the it. kitchen where he, you know, he went, when he showed up, he had kind of medium length hair and then all of a sudden he shows up in the kitchen a few hours later and oh, he's, he's had a haircut. And then it went back to the next scene and his hair was back to the other length. <laughs> so it was... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the, the, that that part uh, I did enjoy, and uh, the overall screenplay. I probably, like I said, if the, maybe this had a different director that I think gave it a little more. I just I couldn't connect with the story all no, too much. No, there's there's things with the story that even the hands um, of a capable director I would have had problems with. Yeah, obviously there's a lot of like <laughs> extremely uh, like most things of a certain era, '90s, whatever. There's just stuff that's like ooh. Very hard to. Ooh, it's like really. <laughs> Ooh, but you do recognize this is twenty years ago. Oh yeah, it, so it you, happens. It, it, but it's man, not, it's not an India. There thing were some specifically. Groaners. There was <laughs> obviously a bunch of like uh, um, stuff that's like homophobic and <laughs> all this kind of stuff in this oh, yeah. film. Although I did think some of the scenes with like the the that the nana the his nanny uh, the tray shaker the yeah. <laughs> she thought they were like having sex or something. Yeah, some of them, but a lot of them was just extremely homophobic. Yeah, um, but that happens all the time. Like I just watched um, um, John Carpenter's film. Um, uh, what is it called? C C Catherine. Catherine. Cath the, the car one? The car one. Yeah. I watched it for the first time. It's the Stephen King book. S yeah. Um, same exact thing. Like, they... <laughs> so much homophobia. Yeah. So much, like... It's just it, kind of just what we did as a society. Yeah, and exactly. we were like, this is fine, right? Yeah. Making fun of people. Um, so th then there was a whole bunch of... One of my least favorite tropes in Indian cinema is... And I get it. It's Indian culture as a whole that likes to do this as well. 
but the toxic parent slash grandparent that just gets completely forgiven. And has a total character change yeah. in one night. In in the name of just because she's your family and you have to. Right. I mean, After agreed. she just said your child is the reason this family sucks and, and she I hate hates her. her. I would have punched that grandma in the goddamn yeah, face. I, I know. And I, I would have like, never talked to her ever again. I, that is unforgivable. I, I agree. But wait, no, wait. <laughs> But then she found out it's blood, so it's yeah. okay now. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it was it was her kid. I know. It yeah, was yeah, her yeah. kid that did it. But for me, it's one of my least. It, K3, it, KGF, uh, not KGF, K3G did it as well. I, Many Indian films. I think done. two things, and this one, this first thing I say, I say just as a point of hilarity. But the second one, I say with seriousness. The first one, the hilarity part. This clearly has to be entered into the Guinness Book of World Records for the most profusely used amounts of glycerin and fake tears in the history of cinema. Okay. That's an it icon- was that's used. An, that's, it was, a, that's an iconic Shah Rukh Khan meme you're talking it about. It was used for sweat. <laughs> they used it for sweat. It was used so much. Shah Rukh Khan turns around. <laughs> He's like dripping. Is, I loved it. It is everywhere. <laughs> um, those, parts, so, those parts of melodrama at the end, I didn't mind, but by the time you got there three hours later, I was yeah. like, oh, And obviously okay. the stuff that strains credulity, like a guy oh. with the heart condition he has. and the, uh, No, it, you're, no. You're, you're just so, thinking too much at that point. Exactly. You're thinking too much. <laughs> but the, the thing for me, because there's a lot of things that bothered me I don't want to harp on because all it's going to – if I say them, those who love the movie are just going to get pissed off. And those who hate the movie are going to say, finally, someone's saying it. And yeah. that's that's the point is to accentuate elevative artistry, not to rip on things that I don't think are elevative. The thing that bothered me the most for me was the fact that it kind of checked off every single box about how I thought of Indian cinema before Gully Boy and before the channel. Oh, uh, yeah. Everything that I it's believe the West so, yeah. thinks about Indian cinema is this. Mm. And I'm not saying that... But without the heart, I feel like. Yeah. The, I, 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 I don't... For me, like, that's one of the reasons I would, among many, I wouldn't ever recommend the film to anybody is because it's just not able to be palatable for me. Whereas the other films from this era yeah. that we've talked about, yeah. they've got them too. But if you prepare somebody, you find the heart. Yeah. And I, that for me, I didn't, yeah. I didn't find that. Yeah, I, I, I agree. That, that, that was... And on top of the fact that, like... Uh, it was just a weird thing of like she loved Shah Rukh Khan, but he was like, "No, marry your friend that you don't really love." That's just strange to me. Yeah. It's, that's one of the things I just couldn't get into. I'm like, and if you're I, and if you're gonna I, be, I don't if you're it. gonna die, why not express your love and enjoy the last moments you have together, and then she can live her life afterwards. Obviously, the whole thing is he's trying to be selfless and. Uh, yeah, I get it. I, I know what the attempt was. I get it, and yeah. I, I know this is a, and I, a highly beloved film, and you are more than welcome to love this film. Love as it all much you, want. As you want. Truly. Um, but it just, in terms for us, and we've been exposed to Indian cinema and Shah Rukh Khan for a long time now, mm-hmm. and it's just, I think, maybe it's I, it's probably more the, the story and I, the, the directing, either. I, it was all over the place. They started breaking the fourth wall at certain times. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, what, was, you, was what are you doing? <laughs> this was, was nowhere else <laughs> in the film. <laughs> Did you break the fourth wall? <laughs> and they just were like, one, two. <laughs> I, did, I hey, didn't get that part. Hey, but yeah. at least the white actors were good. I mean, what? Um, it, was, it was a bunch of actors who were... Who, who. But I I was hoping and I was really let down right at the beginning when he first shows up. They're playing basketball outside and I was waiting for, <laughs> hey, dude. I wanted him to play some basketball. Yeah, How did they miss that opportunity? He, he didn't. He didn't play basketball. No. Um, I mean, he kind of did. He helped him with the layup there while he was standing on the ladder. But um, yeah. So like, if this is like one of those things, I'll say, all those other films. You know, I, I loved. How you know cringing over the top K three G was? I, I really enjoyed that film just for right. how it's just entertaining. It had but, everything this had in terms of over the topness melodrama, but it was entertaining and at least it felt like endearing and fun. Right, there right? was an endearing adorableness yeah. and heart to it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. same with Kuchikotai. Correct. Maybe not in the first half. The first half was uh, hard to get through. Yeah, Kuchikotai, but it, it brought it back and S R K and Gajol and the D D L J is just I, I I really enjoyed that film in terms of just. Um, you know, Shower Khan's chemistry. With what, Khan. what I thought of watching this was one. The, I think it was the last coffee with Karen that we were watching, when he just admitted he was working. It wasn't this film, but he was working on. I don't remember which film it was, uh, but he was working on the film and had an idea about something he wanted to do that was of a artistic and technical level, 
and he stopped himself not only realizing that that was going to be difficult to do, mm -hmm. but he said to himself, they're expecting something from Karin Johar. Forget it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, this is one that I, I probably, like, those other ones, like, if they were on, I'd be like, oh, cool. Yeah. This is fun. No, I wouldn't I, watch I just, this one. I probably wouldn't watch this one Me again. Too. Um, like I said, you're more than welcome to love it. We'll I'm always not, be honest. I'm not saying you can't love this film. Sure, you can absolutely course. love this film. I think there's iconic moments. It's not in boyhood. This. I think there's iconic moments in this film, like the like Shah Rukh Khan turning and crying. I've seen that meme a billion times of just him turning. <laughs> yeah, just and he has, running some, down he his has face. some arms spreading in this yeah, too. Oh yeah, him so, being Jesus or the angel that's yeah, coming to save it. everyone. Uh, I saw, and the songs are great. Obviously, I love all that. But just the overall film, just I, it, it didn't do anything for me. No, uh, it's like, like the there's certain things. places in the South where they have fun kicking each other in the nuts. I'm not going <laughs> to go there. I just don't enjoy that. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Ignore that reference. Ignore that reference. <laughs> I'm being over uh, the top. Anyways, uh, <laughs> let us know what the next <laughs> Shah Rukh Khan film. Obviously, not there. one like this one. Though. Um, who knows? There's probably please. There's probably <laughs> quite a few more like this. Um, but you you like. Kank, right? But I, I'd imagine that one has a lot of melodrama, though, right? It's more mature. Yeah. But it's also Kieran Johar as well. Yes. Well, he directed it? Yes. See? See, I I think, even though, yeah, obviously, Kieran Johar can have those cringy moments and of all this stuff. Of course he can. It he can still, be painful. He usually brings the heart. Yeah. Because he knows that's what the audience wants. They want the heart. Obviously. But I, it, I can't say the audience didn't want but, this because this is a very loved film. So. Right. But there's a level of sincerity that I find in the heart that yeah, of his. he kind of weaves through. Because I think underneath it all, we've talked about this before. I think underneath it all, <laughs> he's a really good filmmaker, mm. but knows what his audience wants and expects. And he's okay with that. Mm -hmm. But if he were given the opportunity and were given permission and was told an audience would enjoy watching that. I, I really do think there's a pretty darn good filmmaker as a director and yeah. writer in Karin Johar. Yeah, I agree. So I just, uh, no, you don't, you don't win them all. Yeah, this, we've said it, it we just didn't like Although it's it. not my least favorite SRK film. I think that, what do you like less than this? Because this one is, this one for me is of all the ones we've seen, this is the one I, I like the least. Chokta. I did not like Chuck to India. I didn't either, but I like this one less. Uh, this Sorry one, for, if that disappoints you. This one at least had fun songs. I did not have fun, I feel like, in from what I remember. in It's been a long time. Maybe uh, maybe if I watch it again, knowing my love for Shah Rukh Khan now, maybe it'd be different. But I just did not. I remember not having fun. And maybe you're right, because I do like the songs in this. I liked, I liked seeing them again. Because yeah. I remember when we saw the videos, we yeah. liked them. Yeah. I do like this. I even like the cringe. Like, how do you not like uh, da, 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 do disco? Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, a, that's, that's a fun silly fun. That's so fun. As is the the. Um, I just I just wish more of the film was fun. Like, that. yeah, I agree. Uh, so it, yeah, I don't know. Maybe Chakta is maybe. But I also once I have probably haven't so seen it in three years. So so it, it's it's not Devdas. Well, I love the visuals of Devdas. You bet you it's, do. It's Sanjay Lee, and Sanjay. it's a great story. Uh, yeah, it is a great story. Your primary problem is with the acting. Yeah. The, but once again, I wonder if I need to go back now. Because that was one of the first Shah Rukh Khan things. Yeah. I didn't have a love for Shah Rukh Khan or yeah. who he was. Yeah. Maybe if I We saw, should do that. Maybe we should revisit a couple of ones we watched oh, early. <laughs> the thought of having to watch Dev Dogs. <laughs> oh, boy. That's, uh... <laughs> Well, you guys can let us know if that's something. How, what if what if SRK said I'll 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 come do an interview with you guys? You just have to watch DevDos again. I would do it, of course. Of course you would. Of course I would. Yeah. Do it. But also, Steph hasn't seen that, so maybe, yeah, maybe I have to watch it with her because she loves Shower Khan. Oh wait, she hasn't seen it. No. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Let her see DevDos and watch it with her, and then yeah. mm. report again. Mm. Oh. <laughs> I've revisited films that I originally didn't like, and, and I actually was glad that I did. Maybe. Yeah. Anyways, you guys can let us know. There's obviously a ton of Shavu Khan films left. Let us know what the next Shavu Khan film should be down below.